Hello, good evening, everyone. Sorry for the delay, two hours delay, two minutes delay. Hello, good evening. How's everybody good doing? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How's everybody doing? Good doing great? Yes, great. It's nice to see you, all of you. Okay. And thank you for the people who are already very advanced in the platform. And um, did you guys receive the uh, the schedule that I sent you last night? Yes. Yes, we did. All of you, all of you received it, right? Right. Okay. Very good. Very good. If somebody did not receive it, please review it so you can you can uh, position yourself and see what uh, what uh, page you have to be in the platform, okay? For the ones uh, who are already on 2.6, very good. Last night, uh, we were talking to um, one of your uh, 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 classmates about uh, an exercise that has a double answer, but actually yeah. it wasn't a double answer. It's only one answer, but uh, there was a mistake and I do apologize for that uh, inconvenience, okay? It should read only one, one answer. And it was uh, the one that Yolanda was asking for, okay? And I do apologize for that inconvenience, okay? And so if there's no other question about, um, we finish uh, uh, adjectives and adverbs, uh, I think it's very clear. And uh, if it's not clear, please let me know. I assume that it is clear, but if it's not clear, let me know so we can uh, do a little more to, um, practice on it. Remember that the important is not uh, how fast we do things. The important is how much we are understanding of the concept that we're going through, okay? So don't worry if there is something that uh, uh, we have to explain it uh, twice uh, or three times, don't worry, it's okay, okay? Just make sure that you work on the platform and over here in class, we can um, discuss uh, any other uh, um, uh, uh, topic. But if you're not uh, doing well on the platform, then we cannot discuss those topics over here. We have to work on the platform, okay? So um, let's um, let's go over the platform before we're gonna start uh, working. Today, we're gonna be working on conjunctions. Conjunctions are, are words that we use to uh, connect um, clauses, sentences, and uh, um, words within a clause. So we're going we're gonna to be talking about conjunctions. So at the end of this class, you will have a clear understanding of uh, what a conjunction is and the meaning of four of the many conjunctions that are, are out there. For example, we're going to be looking at and, we're going to be looking at but, we're going to be looking at though and however, okay? So... At the end of the class, you will be mm -hmm. an expert on those uh, four conjunction words, okay? But uh, before that, let's, uh, let me uh, um, share the screen with you guys. And I want to go over the, um, let's see, one second. I want to go over some examples on this one. Uh, are you able to see my screen? Mm, no. 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 Oh yes. yeah. Right now, yes. Okay. So this this will be um. Let's see. This will be um, knowledge check one point four. Uh, okay. Um. In in this one is uh, it's kind of a confusing because uh, we have to read it uh, once or twice in order for you to understand the question. The most, uh, uh, um, the part of this one, it, it was to understand the question, okay? In this case, the WH question that we use in this case, what, 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 and what WH question, we use it to um, find information of the other person, the one that we are asking the question to. So in this case, is it what seal like? If we don't know what the cell is or seal like, we don't know what it is, then we keep reading. Is it an interesting place? Oh, okay. 
So it's a place that they're talking about. Yeah. So we come over here and say, oh, really? It's beautiful and very clean. And it has a great harbor and beautiful beaches. It, it makes sense? That answer, it doesn't make sense, right? Because it's not saying what seal. It's asking what, what I'm looking for information. And um, yes, it, uh, it had, yes, I have. Well, right there, I know that it's not the answer because over here, nothing to be found that is referring to do you have or something like that, right? When I ask you, uh, Yolanda, do you have a car? What would be your answer? Yes, I have. Yes, I have, mm -hmm. right? So she's not going to say, yes, I do. Or yes, I am. Yes, because it, it doesn't make any sense. So in this case, so this one is discarded because nothing over here says have. And the other one says, yes, it is amazing shopping and the people are pretty friendly. Is it an interesting place? Yes, it is amazing shopping. It is it. it Yes, it has amazing shopping and the people are pretty friendly. And let, let's uh, take a look at the other one. It says, not really, it's too small and it's really boring. That's why I moved away. So over here, the question is not, uh, are you living in that place? Or is, is your, your city or is your house? Something like that. I moved away nobody's asking this person about uh, moving away or um, making an opinion of their place. So the only um, answer to this question will be, yes, it has amazing shopping and the people are pretty plain. So it is an interesting place. The next one will be, do you like your hometown? Why or why not? Over here is, oh, really? Mm, nothing, nothing. It, it has nothing to do with the question. Oh, really? Right? Yes, it uh, has amazing shopping. No, we're talking about the hometown. Yeah, hometown. Es el lugar donde soy yo. En este caso sería la colonia. Eh? Eh, you, ¿Vives en tu colonia? Sí o no? Yes. It uh, has amazing shopping and the people are pretty friendly. No le están preguntando, how is your hometown? Yes. Entonces, the only, then, the only answer to the question would be, not really. It's too small and it's really boring. That's why I moved away. Yeah. That would be the one that it makes uh, sense. Now, let's see. Let's try this one, Rafael, the, the book. Teacher, teacher. Yes. Uh, so, hometown going to be the, home, in home, Spanish, hometown. la colonia donde crecí. Yes, hometown. Yes. Hometown. Hometown, the colonia, yes. Tu, tu pueblo, tu, tu, en este ah, caso, okay. en este caso. Mi lugar de cre donde crecí. Yes, tu Municipio, yes. Mm -hmm. This is a real hometown. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Okay, Rafael, number three. Can you read it for me, please? What Sydney like? I've never been there. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, give me the answer. Oh really, oh really, it's beautiful and very clean. It has a great harbor and beautiful beaches. Very good. Oh really, yeah? It would be the expression, right? Hey, what's Sydney like? I've never been there. Oh really, it's beautiful and very clean. It has a great harbor and beautiful beaches, yeah? So that would be the expression, how you will read the answer and the uh, the question, okay? Very good, good job, uh, Rafael. Mauricio Morales, number four, please. Okay. Uh, 
Have you have you ever been to Sao Paulo? Um, have you ever been? Yes, uh, yes, I have. Is the number two? The, okay. Well, you are really right now the the correct answer. Yes, go ahead. But it's uh, the is number two because uh, it's referred to. Have you ever been? Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. It's. Um, it is an extremely large and crowded place, but I love it. It has excellent restaurants. Okay, okay. Okay, Mauricio. What we're gonna be working with you is on the endings, ED endings. Remember that the, it's very important that, that we can differentiate the ED endings. In this case, is uh, is it ends with the voiced consonant. So the ED will sound like D. Crowd, crowd, yeah. crowd. Yes, yes, crowd. crowd. Yes, if you say crowded, okay. it's not uh, the right uh, um, um, pronunciation of the word. So yes, uh, okay. Yes, I have. It's an extremely large and crowd place, but I love it. it trabajemos también en la fluency. Love it. Unimos las dos palabras y decimos love it. Yeah. Love but it. but okay. I, I love, love it. I love yeah. it. There we go. Mm -hmm. But I love it. It has an excellent rest. It has excellent restaurants. Yeah, okay. Excellent restaurants. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Vamos a ver. Tratemos de leerlo otra vez. Yes. Yes, I have. It is an extremely large and crowded place. But I love it. It has excellent restaurants. Yes, very good. Sounds better. Sounds better. Very good. Good job. Good job. It sounds a lot better. Okay. Okay. Very good. Let's see. Good job. Good job. Okay. Let's uh, let's go to uh, knowledge one seven. Knowledge check. In this one, the instruction says, read the sentences and choose the correct conjunction. Yes, it says, uh, Taipei is very nice. Everyone is extremely friendly. We're gonna be talking about in or but. So what would be the answer to that one? Uh, let's see if I can find uh, Monica. Oh, Raul Hako. Hello. Uh, Taipei is very nice. Everyone is extremely friendly. And I use. Uh, Taipei, uh, the answer is Taipei is very nice, but everyone is extremely friendly. Okay. So. And let's try it with Oscar Alexander. Hey, teacher, um, I select uh, Taipei is very nice and everyone is extremely friendly because both adjectives are positive. And okay. so I, I have to use N. Okay, very good. Excellent. Very good. And number two, Dragoberto Rodriguez, please read the answer and the question as well, if you could, please. The weather, the weather is nice. Summer gets, gets number two. Hot. Number two. The streets, yeah. are, the streets are crowded. It's easy to get around. Okay. The streets are strong and it's easy to get around. Okay. The streets are crowded and it's easy to get around. Yes. So crowd, crowd, C is, C. Crowd. Yes, crowd. Yes. Yeah. Entonces, crowd. lo que vamos a hacer es, vamos a, 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 a exaggerate, yeah? Para aprender la articulation of la ED, we're gonna exaggerate the sound and we're gonna say, Crowd, crowd, crowd. We're gonna uh, add 
an extra the a la palabra. No se dice así, se dice crowd. Crowd. Pero para aprender ese crowd, vamos a, a exagerar, exaggerate the word, the ending word. We, we're going to say crowd. So let's try it, uh, Rodríguez. Uh, crowd. Muy bien, yes. So start with the with the question first. Uh, the streets are crowded. It's crowd. easy to get around. Okay. The streets are crowded. It's easy to get around. The streets are crowded. Crowd. And it's easy to get around. Okay, very good. The streets are crowded and it's easy to get around. Very good. Excellent. Good job, uh, Rodriguez. Very good. Remember, practice that uh, crowd, uh, crowd, uh, so you will get it, okay? It's not easy, but uh, it's possible. Okay, very good. Number three, Elvis Abrego. Yes, teacher. Uh, the number three, uh, the weather is nice, summer get very hot, weather. Okay, what would be the answer? Okay, uh, the weather is nice, summer get pretty hot, whoever. Okay, okay. Uh, the uh, word T-H-E, remember that it has two uh, pronunciation. One is the, and the other one is the, yeah? It's, it is never the. So okay. you, you're gonna say the, whenever the following, the word that follows the, the is, is uh, start with the uh, vowel sound, you're gonna say the. And if the word that follows it, it starts with the consonant the. Okay. sound, it's gonna be the. In this case, it's a consonant, so it will read as follows. The mm. weather, the weather is nice. The, the weather. Summer, yeah. summer gets pretty hot, however, right? And the other one would be, yeah. The weather is nice and summer gets pretty hot. Okay? So try again. Read the uh, question and the answer as well. Okay. The, the, the weather is nice, summer gets very hot, and uh, whoever. However. Uh, However, mm -hmm. the so that would be the answer, right? This one, the the the, the first. Okay, the first one. Okay, very good. Now let's see um, if we had um, let's see, um, Karina Marisol Garcia, can you help me? And Milagro with number five, please. Milagro Mira. <laughs> Yes, shopping is great. You have to bargain in the market. Shopping is great, but you have to mark bargain in the market. Okay, but you have to bargain in the market. Very good, excellent. Uh, what is bargain, Karina? Como negociar. Sí, regatear, que nosotros le llamamos, ¿verdad? Me la deja, me la deja en tres dólares. Yes, me la deja en tres dólares. Me la deja a unos cincuenta. Yes, it's a bargain. Yes, you're bargaining the product. Very good. Excellent. Uh, Milagro, mira, please. Number five. The, the food is delicious. It's not too expensive. The answer is the food is delicious, but it's not too expensive. Okay, okay. Vamos a trabajar en la 
word stress. Um, word stress es el acento que le damos a las palabras. ¿sí? Por ejemplo, si yo digo mamá, no es lo mismo que mamá. ¿ya? Aunque se escriba igual, es, son diferentes uh, pronunciaciones, eh, eh, acentos que le estoy dando. En el caso de esta, de, la vamos a leer de esta manera. Eh, the food is delicious. It's not too expensive. ¿ya? Le vamos a dar ese expensive. No expensive, yeah. expensive. So, vamos a leer. The food is delicious, but it's not too expensive. Can we try again, please? Okay. The food is delicious, it's not too expensive. Very good. The food is delicious, but it's not too expensive. Very good. Good job. Excellent. Good job. Good job. So, what would be the answer over here? It will be the food is delicious, right? Yes? Okay, let's, uh, let's see if we got it, uh, we got them right. No, the food is delicious. And no, it's... no, number two, the food is delicious and so, it's not too expensive. Okay, okay, so it will be this one. There we go. And it's not too expensive. Very good. Um, okay, and we have this one wrong. The streets are crowded. It's easy to get around. So the street, the streets are crowded. It's easy to get around, though. That would be the answer, right? Okay, let's see if we have another one wrong. Okay, we don't have that one wrong. So that, that will be the answer to um, check knowledge 1.7. Any question? No questions. In the number two, yeah, I have a question. Okay, number two, yes. Yeah, in the number two, for example, uh, we can say, uh, we can say to, uh, the street are crowd. Uh, so it is it is easy to get around. And it, the we streets are crowd. No. So no. no. Uh, en el caso de, de esto, eh, estamos diciendo que las, las calles están bien topadas. ¿ya? Yeah? Uh -huh. Y el otro está diciendo que es fácil de caminar por ellas. Entonces hay una discrepancia ahí. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. uh -huh. Entonces, eh, si yo le pongo, the streets are crowded, so it is easy to get around. No, 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 no va ahí. ¿Sí? El yeah. so no lo podemos poner porque el so quiere decir, así es que es fácil de caminar por ellas. So, si, si diría... So it is not easy to get around. Si tuviera el not ahí. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Estamos ahí? Okay. Okay, yeah. very good. Okay, good question. Excellent. I love it. It's a good question. It's a, it was a good challenge question. Okay, so eh, vamos a ver, eso es lo que vamos a, a, a tratar de, de um, clarify uh, tonight about the uh, conjunctions. Eh, ¿Qué son conjunctions? Si alguien me puede decir what are conjunctions words? Si alguien tiene más o menos una idea qué son los conjunctions. Anybody. Yeah, you uh, can... There uh -huh. are uh, words to connect oh. uh, two sentences. Okay, only two sentences. Uh, ideas. Mm. Um, you told us, uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I don't, sentences, uh, ideas, or I don't know. Yes, uh -huh. our words, uh, words used to connect. To connect. Yes, to connect. This is a to connect classes. Classes. Classes, class, un class es una oración que no está completa, ya, ya que le falta el verbo o le falta el, 
el subject o le falta el, el, el predicado, o sea, el complement que le llamamos nosotros. Ese es una clase. Entonces, uh, uh, conjunctions are words used to connect uh, classes, not only classes, sino uh, words también, clases, uh, sentences, and words. en a sentence. Ok, esa sería una conjunction, ¿ya? conjunción en español, no sé cómo, cómo diría una conjunction. ¿Cómo se diría conjunction en español, César? Si esa es la definición. Conjunciones. Que conjunciones, ok. Igual. Con, igual, Bien, ya aprendí una palabra en español, conjunciones. Ok, entonces eso sería conjunction, ¿sí? Y las que vamos a ver, los tipos de conjunction que vamos a ver son las que tiene el, el libro. And, but, eh, though, though. Esta la podemos uh, usar también como although, although, although también es igual. Y la otra, however, eh? however, however. Yes. Entonces dice how, how, ever. Si pusiéramos dos palabras así, diría how, ever. Pero ese es however. Yes. However, however. Sí, sí, tiene que irse de esa manera. Entonces, and, but, though, however, however. Esas son las que vamos a... a Um, however. Tratar, however, yes, however. Y en el eh, and ya sabemos que quiere decir y, ¿verdad? Y vamos a poner aquí para, para mm -hmm. a veces es mejor. Eh, esta la vamos a ver, pero, pero, y tiene muchas, muchas formas de, de verla. Tiene pero, eh, si no, y vamos a ver ejemplos de ella, si no, casi. ¿no? Eh, salvo en esas uh, uh, definiciones, o sea, la podemos uh, usar, excepto también, excepto, 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 y la última es, eh, eh, sin embargo, sin embargo, tiene todas esas definiciones, entonces la podemos usar para cualquier cosa, pero ya la vamos a usar para que la vamos a ver. Sin embargo. ¿Hm? Es de grande. ¿Esta? ¿En barra? Ajá. Ok, lo siento. M. Lo siento. M. M. Y M. 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 Así está bien. Yeah. Ok, thank you. Yes. Thank you. Ahora tenía con la V, ¿verdad? Sí. Ya. Yeah. Ajá. Pensé que así se escribía, lo siento, I'm sorry. <ríe> ok, embargo, y um, do, esa es una palabra que a veces es muy confusa eh, y la usamos uh, muy seguido en inglés. Do. But it's not between, em, em, sin embargo, it's not between. No. O entre, no. No. Ah, In, yeah. no. Aunque, aunque, siquiera. Si quiera, si quiera, aunque si quiera, although, aunque si quiera. Y la, however, esta, esta sería como, eh, no obstante, no obstante. Sin embargo. Esa sería una, sin embargo, también la podemos usar como sin embargo, de todos modos. Uh -huh. De todos modos. De todos modos. ¿ya? Y sin embargo, como dice la señorita, sin embargo. ¿ya? Eh, estas tres palabras, uh, but, uh, however, en uh, though, tienen casi las mismas, uh, las mismas uh, definiciones. Sin embargo, sin embargo. Um, 
I have to be careful to write this one, porque ya me lo dijeron, ya no puedo escribirla mal, ya no tengo excusas, ¿ah? ¿eh? <laughs> and connect, teacher, uh, I think we need to put C. Connect. Connect? Pluses. Yes, connect. Connect. Aquí. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. C, O, N, N. Yes. Yeah. To connect classes. Yeah, very good. Thank you. Okay, so esas son las definiciones, definitions de and. Vamos a ver los, las definiciones de and, para qué sirve and. Entonces, uh, vamos a poner use, use of and, para que sepamos nosotros use of and 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 for additional additional information if we need something to know about something we use it uh, for additional information for example uh, the purposes the purposes are Delicious. The pupusas are delicious. Comma. And are not expensive. Okay. In this case, we are adding information to the already said about the pupusas. The pupusas are delicious. Okay. That's it. Right. But uh, then we have to add. Uh, something to the uh, class. If we need to add something to, to the class, then we use the connection word and. Remember, and is used to add information, additional information to the existing one. Okay? Is that clear? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Now the use of uh, but, the use of but. Do and however, however, yes, the use of do and and however. We use this one uh, for contrasting, for contrasting. So contrasting is uh, when you say something different from what you already said. You are my friend, but I don't want to talk to you. See? Ya dije algo. Diferente a lo que, you are my friend, but I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. Yeah? Eso sería something contrasting. Something que usted está diciendo. Contrasting information. Information. Contrasting information. Um, the pupusas. Pupusas are delicious, delicious, but, but, yeah. But are very too grasosas. How do fatty, you? too fatty, yeah. Too fatty. Yeah, too fatty, grasosas, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, the pupusas are delicious, but are too fatty. So, entonces estamos contradiciendo, ¿verdad? Lo que hemos dicho anteriormente. Estamos diciendo mm -hmm. que las pupusas son deliciosas, pero luego decimos que son muy eh, grasosas. Yeah. The pupusas are delicious, but are too fatty. Fatty es eh, 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 grasosas. Yeah. Ok, uh, vamos a ver. Vamos a hacer un ejercicio. ¿Alguna pregunta de estas cosas? De, eh, y el do, el however, eh, quiere decir lo mismo. Y es, uh, the pupusas are delicious, but are too fatty. But um, the pupusas, the pupusas, the pupusas, es, es crudo. Uh, pupusas are delicious, but are too fatty. But uh, they... 
are too fatty. So que siga más completo. Yeah. Okay, and uh, do you watch TV? Um, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see who can I ask. Claudia, do you watch TV? No, teacher. No. Well, do you like movies? No. Sorry? Do you like movies? Yes, but okay. I watch in the computer. Okay. Okay. Entonces, so, un día a la casa llega usted bien cansada y dice uh, my always favorite, <laughs> favorite my favorite uh, movie ¿cuál es su movie favorita? favorite movie is I don't know um, is uh, Chucky Chucky <laughs> 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 yeah, there's the Chucky. I I'm I'm uh, too tired tired to watch it. Watch it. Watch it. No, watch it. Watch it. Okay, le vamos a poner aquí a but or what sería la palabra aquí? Do. ¿Cuál sería la palabra? Estaríamos um, aquí le pondríamos esta para que lo entendamos así. Yes. Tenemos dos opciones. Tenemos la opción de usar but o tenemos la opción de eh, usar do. ¿Cuál usarían ustedes? My favorite movie is Chucky. Remember que el do y el but lo usamos para contraction, contradiction, ¿verdad? Contradecir algo que hemos dicho. Ya. Yeah. En este caso, lo estamos contradiciendo y lo tenemos al final de la oración. Entonces, ¿cuál vamos a usar? ¿Vamos a usar el but o vamos a usar el do? What do you think? Do. So. Hmm? So. Do. So. Yeah. Ok, do. Do. Entonces, usamos el do. ¿Y alguien me la puede traducir esa oración, por favor, al español? Mi película favorita. Okay. Uh -huh. Perdón. Mi película favorita es Chucky, aunque siquiera sin embargo. Uh -huh. Estoy muy cansada para verla. Ok, sí, puede ser uh, uh, aunque, sin embargo, yes. Aunque, aunque estoy demasiado Muy cansada cansado. para mirarla, ¿verdad? Y el que es, yeah. uh, yes, el que, eh, y el tú, ¿qué sería en este caso? ¿Adverbio o, o un adjetivo? Adverbio. Un adverbio, ¿verdad? Está diciendo cómo se siente, how, tired, too, too tired, too tired, demasiado. Very good. Eh, uh, uh -huh. Teacher, uh, yeah. in the case of the pupusas, we uh -huh. can say the pupusas are delicious. Uh, uh, they are too fatty. Uh, so. Yeah, though. Uh -huh. Though. They uh -huh. are too, too fatty, though. Or very they, fatty. They are too fatty, comma, though. Okay. Uh -huh. Very good, ¿ya vio? Excelente, good job, my God, good job, yes. Ok, eh, ¿a quién le gusta el, leer el, el periódico? Raúl, Jaco, ¿te gusta leer el periódico? Do you like to read the newspaper? Sometimes. ¿Ah? Sometimes. Sometimes. Uh -huh. Ok, eh, Raúl. Raul, Raul, eh, let's see, wanted to buy the newspaper. Buy the newspaper. Newspaper. 
the world wanted to buy the newspaper, comma, and, and, uh, but, you can use but, he didn't, he didn't have, es mentira, ¿verdad, Raúl? Este es solo enough money. Money for it. Ok. Vamos a ver aquí. Dice, Raúl wanted to buy the newspaper. And or but he didn't have enough money for it. ¿Qué usamos? ¿El and o el, el but? But. But. Mm -hmm. but. Yeah, but. Uh, he, he have uh, no money. No, don't have money. So it's contrasting. Yes. But yeah. Because it's, <laughs> ¿sí? it's contrasting, ¿verdad? Contrasting la idea. Él quería comprar, no tiene dinero. Entonces Pero hay, no hay dinero. Un... ¿Perdón? ¿Perdón? ¿Me habló? No. Ok. It's contrasting the idea. Raúl wanted to buy mm -hmm. the newspaper. But he did, didn't have enough money for it. Yeah. Sería el but. Porque está contrasting de lo que él quiere. Yeah. Yeah, Raúl wanted to buy the newspaper. Yeah. Okay, very good. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Excellent. Uh, ¿A quién le gusta ir al, al, al Metro Centro? Bueno, los que son de San Salvador, ¿verdad? Los que son, Santana también tiene Metro Centro, creo yo. San Sonate también. Yeah. ¿A quién le gusta ir a Metro Centro? A nadie? I love to go to mm. Metro Centro, but I don't have money to go. <laughs> yeah, okay. Entonces dice, I, I love to go to Metro Centro. No, Metro Centro, so Centro. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Um, they are always, no sé allí donde es usted, pero aquí siempre están así, crowded, mm -hmm. crowded, 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 cama, vamos a poner una cama ahí, yeah. y le vamos a poner and, o oh, however, however, Ok, ¿cuál usamos? I love to go to Metro Center. They are always crowded. However. However, ¿verdad? However. Yeah, however. Aunque aquí vea, I love to go to Metro Center. They are always crowded. Alguien podría pensar, oh, teacher, aquí es, I love to go to Metro Center. And ellos siempre están eh, llenos. Ya yeah, podría decir así, ¿verdad? Pero no. Or but. But, podemos, ajá. Uh -huh. But, podríamos poner aquí, but, yeah, but they are always crowded, yeah, yeah, ok, ahora, um, ¿quién me quiere traducir esta oración? Solo uno, ¿verdad? No todos están levantando. ¿no? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me encanta ir a Metrocentro. Eh, sin embargo, eh, siempre está lleno. Yes, entonces ahí, uh, aquí no era it, ¿verdad? It is. They it. it is. It is, yes. It is. It is. Uh -huh. It is always crowded, however. Ok, ahora sí, ya traduzco. Perdón, que vi un error ahí.
Me encanta ir a Metro Centro, dijo. Y después. Uh, sin embargo, eh, siempre está lleno. Siempre está uh -huh. lleno. Yes, siempre está lleno. I love to go to Metro Centro. It is always crowded, however. ¿Sí? Así se... Bebito, hello. El bebito quiere hablar inglés, ya vio, desde pequeñito. Teacher, I have a question. Please, please, go ahead, make it. Uh, but I don't know. Mm. No quiero que se burle. Este... ¿Quién se va a burlar? ¿En Spanish? Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Por qué se pone el final de la oración, el conector? ¿O el... solo para explicar ahorita? Sí, para explicar. Ajá. Lo podemos poner aquí. However. Sí, uh, ponemos uh, donde está. Después however, de coma. Coma. Yeah, it is always Ahí. proud. Yes. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Yo pensé que sí se puede. <laughs> Sí, ahí, ahí lo puedo. However, it is always crowded. De todas formas, ¿verdad? Ah, Acuérdense okay. que en, en inglés, en inglés no decimos the uh, car red. No decimos así, ¿verdad? En inglés. Decimos the, the red car. The red car. Uh -huh. Yeah, the red card. Entonces en, en no. inglés ponemos primero eh, el nombre y después ponemos el adjetivo. En este caso no es adjetivo, pero es una conjunction word que está um, uniendo estas dos clases aquí. Pero igual parte lo puede poner aquí. O sea que vaya, se... pues no hay problema. No, no hay problema. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Yo pensé que solo en la traducción se... Se leía como el however en, después de la coma. No, la traducción vea cómo se lee. Me encanta Ajá. ir a Metro Centro. Y luego usted Ajá. dice however, ¿verdad? Sin embargo, Ajá. Ajá. está siempre lleno. Siempre ¿Sí? está. Yeah. Topado. Uh -huh. Entonces, así, así es la traducción. Very good. Very good. Gracias. Thank ok. You. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Quién vive en Sonsonate? ¿Alguien vive en Sonsonate? ¿No? ¿No? Eh, ah, ¿En San Miguel? ¿Quién vive en San Miguel? ¿Anybody lives in San Miguel? ¿Anybody lives in Santa Ana? ¿No? Okay, it, it doesn't matter. Yes, it's just, okay, <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's just it's just for the um just for the, to make an example. So if you live in Sonsonate, you're gonna understand what I'm saying. What I'm trying to say. Uh, Sonsonate is a great city. Okay, mm, a great city to visit. To visit, comma. Don't come in the summer yeah don't come in the summer but but however okay which one do you gonna use you're gonna use but or however but but so you're gonna say sonsonate is great city to visit Don't come in the summer, but no, no, it's great city to visit, but don't come in the summer, okay. Or, however, it's great city to visit, don't come in the summer, however. Oh, there we go. So, yo, yo que bonito se escucha. Si, si yo le pongo el however aquí, no se va a escuchar de esa forma, y el norteamericano no le habla de esa forma, ya. Yeah. Yo se lo puedo poner aquí. Yes. Yes. Sonsonate is a great city to visit. However, don't come in the summer. Ya se ve de esa manera. Ahora se lo voy a poner aquí al otro lado. Acá. Y se lo voy a leer. Sonsonate is a great city to visit. Don't come in the summer, however. ¿Sí? Se oye más eh, eh, de la forma como hablan el inglés. Ahora, si yo le quiero poner el but, no lo voy a poner al final. Lo voy a poner acá. 
but yeah but acá yeah but don't come in the summer yeah si voy a usar el but y si no voy a usar el but si voy a usar however es preferible ponerlo aquí al final however however ok ahora quiero un voluntario de ustedes que me traduzca Elvis Abrego tradúzcame esa oración por favor Ok, Sonsonate es un bonito lugar para visitar, pero no vienen en el verano. Por, ¿Mm? eh, por caliente. También. Ya no se le entendió. Ya no, ¿verdad César? César Ovidio, eh, tradúzcame la oración. Eh, Sonsonate es una grandiosa ciudad para visitar. Más sin embargo, o no obstante, eh, hace, no se puede ir en verano. No. Hace por el calor. Mm -hmm. eh, eh, más, está mejor, está mejor la traducción, pero necesitamos más. Oscar, Perdón. Alexander. Pregunta. Eh, Sonsonante es una gran ciudad para visitar. Sin embargo, no vengas en verano. Exacto. Ajá. Sonsonante es una... Sí. una Ajá. Sin embargo, no venga en verano. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, Sin embargo, no, no venga en verano. Yes. Very good. No dice, Sonsonate es una gran ciudad para visitar. Ajá. Sin embargo, no vienes en verano. No venga. No, presente. no, no venga. Presente. No venga. No venga Did en verano. ¿Ah? O sea, es, es una orden entonces. No venga bueno. en verano. Sí, es, es, no es una orden, es, es una amenaza. Es una amenaza. Suggestion, ¿no? Sí, es una amenaza que le dicen, no venga en verano porque se va a tostar. <risa> yeah. Sonsonate is a great city to visit. Sin embargo, no venga en verano. Yeah. Ya le dijo que está, está, es una ciudad mmm, bonita, excelente. No está diciendo nada que malo, sino que le está, eh, le está dando un warning, como una sugerencia. No vengas en verano porque yeah, te vas a, a, a quemar. Yeah. Sí. Si dijera no viene, Sonsonate no viene, Sonsonate doesn't come, diría ahí. Doesn't come. Yeah. Ok. ¿A quién le gusta el sushi? ¿Anybody like sushi? No. Ah. Me. Ok. Eh, I, I hate sushi. <laughs> sushi. Yeah, I hate sushi. No, no, no. Es solo, solo por, por, uh, por um, educational purposes. I love sushi. Okay. Mm -hmm. I hate mm -hmm. sushi. Sushi. Mm -hmm. Come on. Eh, but It's good for your health. <laughs> it is good. Yes, yes. No, no fatties. And, and. I love pizza. Esta está facilísima, ¿verdad? I hate sushi, but, or and, I love pizza. ¿Cuál sería ahí, Claudia María? Um, I hate sushi, but I love pizza. But I love pizza, yes. ¿Por qué no and I love pizza? ¿Por qué no dice I hate sushi and I love pizza? Lo que pensaríamos nosotros en español, ¿verdad? En español diría, sí, teacher, pero sí, también las dos se puede, tiene sentido, pero no tiene sentido porque dijimos que but lo usamos para contrasting and and para agregar um, eh, información. O sea que si yo quisiera usar and, I hate sushi and uh, diría algo de sushi, ¿verdad? And, para agregar información a eso. Pero como es algo Contrasting, contrasting, entonces pongo el but. Ahora, ¿quién quiere eh, traducirme esa oración? Who wants to tra translate? Alonso. Yo, ok, go ahead. Odio, yo odio el sushi, pero amo la pizza. Yes. Ajá. Y acuérdense, cuando yo digo yo odio, estoy haciendo como una redundancia. Como cuando nosotros decimos uh, subo para arriba. 
eh, salgo para afuera, bajo para abajo. Cuando digo I hate sushi, yo digo yo odio, ya está, cuando odio sushi, ya está ahí, ahí inferred el I. Odio sushi, pero amo la pizza. ¿Ya? Yeah? Uh -huh. Si yo digo yo odio sushi, pero yo amo la pizza, es como que el yo yo lo estoy, como que es una redundancia, redundancy. Yes. Sí, entonces, I hate sushi, odio sushi, but I love pizza, pizza, pero amo la pizza. ¿Ok? ¿Estamos ahí? ¿Estamos bien? ¿Sí? Yes. Ok, yes. Very, very good, excellent. Ok, entonces vamos a ver. Um, yo quiero que alguien me diga, me gusta, pero eh, me gusta... La comida china, pero está muy cara. Anybody? I like Chinese food. I like but... Chinese food. Cama. Acuérdense que va una cama. Cama. But is is very expensive. But. But is. But is uh -huh. very expensive. Is very or two? Expensive. Or two. El adverbio two. Uh, two. Two expensive. Two. Expensive. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yes. Okay. I like Chinese food. But it's too expensive. But it's too it expensive. Too expensive. Yes. But it's too expensive. Oh, but it is too expensive. It, it is. But it is too expensive. Too or, expensive. It's, or it's too it's, expensive. Yeah. yeah. I like Chinese food, but it's too expensive. Very good. Ahora otro que no sea la misma que participó. Por favor, apáguenme el micrófono si están haciendo algo ahí atrás, porque si hay mucho ruido. Eh, uh, mm, a Luis Alonso le encanta la verdura, excepto el apio. Mm. I love it. Aquí, ¿Alguien que, que lo diga así? <risa> oh. For me es I love it vegetables. I love it. Vegetables. Uh -huh. What more, teacher? What more? Oh, no, teacher. Oh, okay, okay. Huh? ¿Qué más? Era, eh, I, love, I love it, vegetables. Yeah. Okay, entonces vamos a hacer, me gusta, como dijo ya, me gusta, me gusta o me encanta toda la verdura. Excepto el apio. Ah. Ah. No sé. Borro sí. esto. Do I, do I erase this? Why? Why? Ajá. Uh -huh. Why? Ok, Luis. Alonso loves vegetables, but he hates celery. Alonso loves loves vegetables. Vegetales. Vegetables. Uh -huh. Coma, coma. Cama. But he hates celery. I don't know the celery or or the celery. Celery? No, celery with C C E Celery Celery. L celery. Uh-huh. Ese es el okay. apio, ¿no? So Alonso loves vegetable, but he hates celery. So, Is the celery or Alonso. celery only? Alonso le gusta toda la verdura, dije yo. Yeah. Toda All la vegetables. verdura. Toda la verdura. Entonces, para decir toda la verdura, diríamos every vegetable. Every, every vegetable. 
Yeah, esa es toda la verdura. Alonso loves every vegetable, but he hates celery. No, yo no dije odia el celery. Yeah. Dije Alonso like. le gusta toda la verdura excepto el apio. He doesn't like apio. Uh, he doesn't like celery. A él no le gusta eh, el apio, diría ahí. But he doesn't like celery. Para, pero no. a él no le gusta el apio. Mm -hmm. O oh, except. Mm -hmm. Ok, aquí es... es, es, es. Sería but, however, no. But celery. But celery. Aquí. Entonces, allí es donde dice Alonso loves every vegetable but celery. Dice Alonso le encanta eh, toda la verdura, excepto el apio. Es lo que dice ahí. Mm -hmm. Except uh, but, but celery. Um, yes, except but celery. Except, teacher, mm -hmm. and baseable is not with S at the end. No. Vegetables, mm -hmm. vegetables. Yes, mm -hmm. is with E after B. V as in Victor? It's not vegetables with E, A, B, A, G, A, T, I. No. <laughs> After X, yes. I think it's vegetables. Sí. Yes. Vegetables. vegetables. Okay, vegetables. But I need to check. Alonso loves every vegetable. Así, vegetables? Yes. Okay. I need to check, but this is the word. Yes. Yes, eh? vegetables. Okay, so um, let's see. Um, entonces vamos, quiere decir que eso no está muy bien Alonso claro. Loves, okay. Alonso loves every vegetable. vegetables. Okay. Okay, very good. Excellent. Oh my God, this 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 class is is taking too much time of your time, huh? It's it's, it's getting too too long. We get so excited that the time for us it doesn't exist, right? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, DJ, we have to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry to take in too much time. Uh, I know you you guys are tired, and I'm sorry. Um, we're gonna continue with this one tomorrow. We will continue with the uh, um, but and though. I hope that this class is helping you to um, to clarify some points, you know, and sometimes maybe you do not understand uh, the words in the platform and therefore the, it's uh, difficult for you to finish the, the homework. But if that is the case, don't worry. We will get to, to that point and, and you will learn all the aspect or everything that you need to learn in order for you to finish the platform and to understand it, okay? I promise you, I promise you, everything will be okay. All right. If there's no uh, questions, uh, I see you tomorrow. And thank you for the people who is working on the platform. I see you tomorrow um, at uh, eight o'clock. Okay. Have a good night, all of you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Thank you.